Hey makers, this is another wonderful make course video brought to you by Kevin Orr. In this video I'll demonstrate my Arduino based control system for my planetarium project. I'll show a brief animation just to recap on what my project does and how it does it, and then I'll uh, discuss my control system and its breadboard implementation. I'll show you uh, all of the parts and what they do and how they accomplish what they need to. Here we can see that uh, the three steppers move each of the three planet columns and then the entire assembly can be placed in the plastic enclosure box. So here's a diagram of my control system. It's pretty straightforward. An app running on an Android device will ask the user to input a date and it'll calculate the planet's positions at that date and send those positions via Bluetooth to the Arduino. The Arduino then takes those positions and calculates what the stepper position should be in number of steps, and then of course actuates the stepper motors. So this is my control circuit. This is an AT Mega 328. Um, I'm using this instead of uh, an Uno, like this. Um, just because I think it, uh, it'll it take up less space in my box because I'm a little cramped for space in there. But also I just kind of wanted to uh, try to put it on a perf board like this. It takes up a lot less room. Anyway, this is an HC05 Bluetooth module that I'll use to connect to an Android device, say a phone or a tablet. Um, this is a ULN 2003, um, just a transistor array, to drive the steppers. Um, pull up resistor for the reset pin. 16 megahertz crystal oscillator um, with uh, 22 picofarad uh, capacitors to ground. And um, I don't have a 5 volt uh, voltage supply. Uh, yet, so I'm just basically just using an Uno uh, just for the power rails, basically. But eventually, this will just uh, be a you know DC adapter that plugs into the wall. You can see I have all the same parts here. In fact, I have all three of my ULN 2003 uh, boards because I have three steppers that I'm going to be needing to drive. And I have the pull-up resistor for the reset pin, the 16 megahertz capacitor, I mean <laughs> 16 megahertz oscillator, and the two 22 picofarad capacitors. And of course I'll have to move the Bluetooth module onto this board. So here's just a simple app. It's called a Bluetooth Terminal. First step is to connect to the Bluetooth module. I named it Planetarium. Once it's connected, you just enter a position in degrees and hit send. Thanks for watching. Now go make something awesome.